Yeah, you know, I was testing at the moment while I was talking on a uh, auxiliary community, so I might as well, on Facebook, so I might as well show you a test fire of this thing. Okay, so this is turreted mode. Your dart sits here instead of sitting here. It costs you a few FPS, maybe 20 or 30, but the advantage is you have four barrels, and those four barrels, those three of the barrels, can be loaded shotgun. Okay, I've been having a little trouble getting this chronograph to read. Okay, gold here means sighted there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's got a little gold pen and it's got tape on it. It basically means that this barrel sighted. This barrel is a degree or two lower than the other ones. It prevents muzzle climb. Okay, on shotgun mode, you that's fine, but on single mode, you really do need to combat that muzzle rise because this has a lot of recoil. That's it. Two and a third inches. That's it. That's all by 36 millimeters. That's it. Um, not 37 like that one is. That one has a little more power to it. You can get that up in the 330s if you want. This one, singled, will do about 300. Coupler will do about 260, 270. Okay, so this is your plunger rod. That's a stock plunger rod. It's got a number 10 Torx going all the way to the rod catch. And what this does is this does what I call the connecting rod effect. Hits here, hits here, which stops the post in here. This is how you keep your valve head from being destroyed in a car. Well, this is how you keep your um, plunger head from being destroyed a blaster. This blaster with the original plunger head the original, and the tube was changed before war in 2017 but that tube went to um, Paige Roundtree. This blaster um, is 2015. It's had one reshell. I've reshelled this because this tube broke and maybe you saw it's the one where, where the tube goes up here and the whole thing's gold. It's had one reshell and it has had a new tube. Interesting story with this. I thought it'd be easier to show the mechanics with a clear tube. It was actually better. Okay, so here we are. Let's fire away. See if it reads this time. I'm having trouble getting this to read. All right. So, 273 feet per second. Yeah, that's about typical for this blaster with this arrangement. If I throw a well waxed nerf barrel in here I can get it up to 310 that's a 2017 turf spring another thing I could do is I could put another inner spring on it make me maybe make it 21 kilograms and this can hold up to 32 40 kilograms I'd say 32 practically after 32 you get diminishing returns and I can get this thing to really shoot fast however I like it where it is and sometimes when you when you like how accurate it is and where it is and how well it's shooting you don't want to change it 273 out of a pistol is this blow your doors off kind of speed. And not only that, you got three barrels that can do this. One. Let's put that one as the last one. Two. Now the reason I said put that one as the last one, because you gotta bow the last start out. To, because it's an inline shotgun three. Okay. So let me put this down, prime it, and fire it. Let's see if it reads the three shots. It might not. Let's see if it does. Okay, so you got three F pros in here now on one of the shotgun barrels, not the single barrel, the shotgun barrel. Let's see if this chronograph will read it. Yeah, look at that, 175 feet per second. I say it can do 150, 160s, but it shot 175, yeah. So three shots, 175, one foot spread, and you hardly ever get the arid dart that goes this way or that way. Sometimes you do if you get a bad dart, but it's usually the dart, not the firing. And this is, and that's invaluable. Imagine you've got three darts coming at you, 130 feet per second with a one one half foot spread. You really don't have anywhere to run or dodge. So if someone's charging you and you got to run, a, you know, turn your barrel, run a really fast shot, and bam, there it is. But you still have the original, uh, you know, bird of prey kind of speed, about 160, 170. 175 on the high side, kind of velocity, and you got that 190, 200 feet flat range that gives you that power. You're into four jewel territory with a turret. And this is why I like this blaster so much. So I made this video for the guys over at um, the auxiliary community that we're doing a, um, we're doing a, um, a post. Let me, let me hide these guys. I'm helping this guy with his NP. Um, I help people all the time. If you need any help, dude, message me. I mean, I'll get to you right away, but I'll get to you as soon as possible. And my friend here, 
Louis Ten, Louis and Ten, who who has an indoor range, and everything, put up the um, put up a really good article about the cheetah. Now, let me tell you what I think about the cheetah. <coughs> I like it. I like the fact that workers doing something original. I like the fact it can take rival. I like the fact it's totally original. It's not copied anything. I really thought they were going to copy the bird. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Worker has come a long way, and I'm actually very proud of them. However, there are a few things the bird has that this doesn't have that I think if they ever do a second revision of a cheetah, they should pay attention to. And maybe, maybe sometime later when I do a comprehensive build video on the bird one day, and I may do that for the slide breach version, I'll do that. But this thing needed a slide breach, you needed to be able to take this head and compress the, compress the spring all the way down the four inches, and it needed better stays. This, this blaster here has really, let's see if I can do this without fucking up the keyboard, yeah, has really good stays in the back. And because of its shape, you see it's got like, a, like an ovalized shape, it holds extremely well, okay? It does extremely good. Now, of course, most people don't realize that this blaster... Oh, there's the AR right there. That thing... This thing can shoot really crazy. I actually prefer this to, to Big Blue because it's crazy. And here's the prototype long uh, slide breach I'm working for on, which has locking rings and locks the, the dart all the way back here, ensures it's back here, and then fires. It's shooting extremely well. It's based off one of these guys. Yeah, I even have them new in box. Check it out. It's based on a star shot. Yeah, that's just crazy, in it? So you've got a good... Yeah, look at that. So you have to move up the plunger to move up the head. So it's moved all the way up here. Normally it's about back here. It's moved all the way up here. And you have to put a long shot tube in there. And use some fiberglass reinforcements. But dude, it does really good. I mean, this has got to be my favorite pistol of all time. And to think that something like that, a girl's pistol, God, my hair just gets everywhere, even when I'm not, ah, it's the disadvantage of long hair. Um, even when I'm, you know, a girl's pistol can meet this. It could sniper. It could sniper really accurate. Damn. But this time I think I am going to go with this, and the reason is is because 300 feet per second is becoming easier to get, uh, get a hold of, easier to acquire. I usually don't, didn't shoot with the turret because I kind of figured it was unfair, but now that people are upping their game a bit, <laughs> you're going to see this on the field more. So until next time, this is Chris Cartea saying, don't you go changing or I'll find you. <laughs> Say your prayers.